Anyhow, kids, so that's how we do it. In this episode, we are barely naked soaping. There's always something going on on Grandpa's farm. A place where you're always welcome. Come on, Lily, let's go feed. Uh, it rained last night. Feeding on the farm. Thought I'd show you a little bit about my daily chores. <clears throat> Now that we've got the ducks here at the property, feed water every day. We actually water two or three times a day because they sure do like playing in it. <laughs> My strawberries doing great. Checking the squashes. Jungle in here. So hey kids, how's everybody doing out there in YouTube land today? Today we're gonna make some goat milk soap. Now I know I did some of this during a live stream, but I thought I'd go over it all through this again, uh, just so you guys can see how I do it and what goes on and how good my soaps really are. Why I'm kind of jazzed about this, why I think it's so cool that I'm able to make such a good healthy product for you guys to be able to use. I'm making this for my granddaughter. Okay, I'm making this for my granddaughter. So if I'm making it for her, so it's good and safe for her, you know it'll be good and safe for you guys. And I'm gonna start right out with the scariest item on the shopping list here. Yep, sodium hydroxide lye. Now this is actually a food grade lye. Um, this is a food grade lye. So it's super high quality stuff that is not going to um, not going to hurt you any. So, okay. So we're going to make a half batch today. We're going to make a half batch today. So the first thing I need is 8.7365. So I got this zeroed out. We want 8.7365. Whoops, six seven seven four. When making soap, everything has to be very specific. I'm on grams and not ounces. Exacting standards. There we go, three ounces. There we go. 5.6, 8.73. 3. Should be about a cup. Should be about a cup. 7, 4, 7, 6, 7, 7. 8. 8.5, 8, 8.6, 8, 8.7. Now that's as close as my scale is going to get for us. So we're at 8.7. All right. Let us set that aside. We now have that measured. Now, we're going to start right off here in the big bowl. So let's zero that out. And the first thing we're going to add is uh, 20 ounces of olive oil. Now I don't have 20 ounces in this jug, but between these two I do. I'm going to take all of that on. I use olive oil because, uh, you know, obviously it's a good, safe, healthy product for you to use. But also it really makes for some nice sudsy soap. It's really great for the skin just really good stuff for you so okay we want a total of 20 ounces I'm at 17 18 19 thank you 20 ounces right on the money all right so that is our olive oil now we also need 20 ounces of palm oil so let's set that back to let's set that back to zero and now we're going to get our palm oil. This is a uh, ecologically resourced palm oil. Now, palm oil has been kind of controversial a little bit uh, with some groups because they say it's not being um, harvested 
Um, well, they're, they're plowing up rainforest and using the rainforest to uh, to make palm oil and plant palm tree plantations, which is true. But this one, I guess, is what I understand, this one has been reasonably sourced. Okay, we need 20 ounces of palm oil added to the olive oil. And you see the palm oil has sort of a, kind of looks like melted butter, actually. And it, and it kind of feels like melted butter. Uh, you know, and it's got that sort of viscous, uh, buttery fat, uh, and you know, it's just really good for your skin. So, okay, we're at 13, 13.7. We're at uh, 16.8. And 19. 20, perfect. 20 ounces, so there we go. There we are 20 ounces of that. Close that up. Now palm oil is, again, one of the super fats that we add to the soap. Uh, it does help make for a good lather, but it's also just, you know, hey, it's just a real good, real good uh, healthy product. Okay, we're gonna zip that out. Now we're gonna add eight ounces of sweet almond oil. And uh, sweet almond oil adds a nice little scent. But it also is, uh, again, something really good for your skin. So we're going to add some sweet almond oil. Six, seven, eight. Oop, went a little over, 8.3. All right, well, we're a little over on, all, on that. And now we have to add, to that, we have to add 16 ounces of coconut oil. So we're going to zip that out again. Coconut oil, as you can see, it's a solid at room temperature. We gotta put that in the microwave. And we have to add eight ounces of coconut oil. Six. 8.2, close enough. 8.2, just a little bit. All right, so there we go. There's our, all of our ingredients. Except for one. We have one ingredient left to deal with, and that is our goat milk. Now, I need, let me uh, clear this out. I need uh, 21.12 ounces of goat milk. And I have 25 ounces. So I have 25.7. So I've got, you know, 4, 4 point, 4 4.5 ounces too much of uh, my milk. So the question is, is how do you deal with that? You know, how, how, what I should have done is I should have, uh, I should have taken this and I should have um, measured it prior to putting it into these containers, but I didn't do that. But we're going to put it in the microwave, and we're going to give it a little bit of time for that to thaw out some. Well, that's thawing out. We'll get everything else in position here and ready to go. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start mixing up our lime milk. And we're going to do that with a long-handled spoon to keep my hand away from the lye. See, we're going to go without the measure on that. So, so now what we have to do is we have to add the lye to the milk. And we have to do that very carefully because what's going to happen is the lye is going to generate heat. As the lye hits the milk, it's going to start generating heat. And it's going to start melting the, uh, the milk. And as it starts melting the milk, uh, it can, if we add too much too quickly, it can burn it. And we don't want it to burn. We want it to just, uh, you know, start breaking it down. So let's go ahead and start adding our lye over the top of our milk. And it'll start melting that. We'll start stirring that around. And eventually as we add all of this uh, 20, 
what is this, 8.73 ounces of lye, we should be able to pretty much melt this block of goat milk soda. But I use frozen milk for a very specific reason. By freezing the milk, we get a much cleaner, uh, lighter colored bar. If we were to just add the lye to not frozen milk, it would generate too much heat and turn it brown. Not that brown's bad, but you know, it's just a, 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 just a small thing that we do, paying attention to details here, trying to make sure we, we have a really good, nice product. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. It's never going to be perfect, but we try to put some effort into it and make it look as nice as we possibly can. Well, I was just melting all that. One of the things we have to be really careful of in making the soap is that we completely dissolve all the lye in the milk. We don't want large particulates. In fact, I just spent some time this morning cutting up some bars of soap that I made previously as a quality control measure. Um, I went ahead and, and shredded them with a knife, slowly slicing them off, really paper thin as I was going, trying to uh, identify if there was any lye in there that uh, hadn't gotten adequately dissolved. Because I, you know, I, I, I will not ship any bar that could in any way hurt anybody. You know, and and if you have a clump of un dissolved lye in there, well that, that could burn your skin. So it uh, it will have not adequately saponified. So we're uh, adding this very slowly. We're keeping it very cold. By keeping it cold, we're keeping the, uh, the soap as light a color as we can. I'm, I'm aiming for a manila kind of color. Now with some of the soaps we're gonna be doing in the future, Matter of fact, our very next batch of soap that we're going to be making, we're going to be adding some, some colorant and some, uh, some dye to. And if your soap turns brown, it's hard to make it look light colored again. But if you keep your soap very light colored to begin with, it's easier to keep it light. We can add some stuff to lighten it up a little bit. But I prefer doing that naturally and not having to add something to make it lighter. I, I don't want to add any kind of chemicals or anything else to this trying to do with what I'm doing, should be doing anyway. Lily, be quiet. Lily's barking at something. Lily. Decided to kick this in high gear so we could move this along. Gonna be here a long time mixing the lye in with the milk trying to get it to dissolve and not burn the milk. Just take some time. Tedious, not very entertaining. So I hope you'll bear with me while I speed through all this. get them dry, put all this stuff up behind us to give us some room. We do tend to make a mess when we're filling the mold. So let me get in the dishwasher here.
I'm not worried about the outside. The fact is, I should have done this before I started, but I didn't. I did run all the molds through the dishwasher because, of course, we had just recently pulled another batch of soap out because we're, uh, we're making a lot of soap these days. Um, edit this part out. Maybe I won't. Full disclosure. Honest disclosure. This is the what this is what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eighteen. Okay. Try out one more set of squares just so we've got plenty. <clears throat> and I'll dry out a set of the uh, roses. We're using the rose now as a as a gift bar. You know, the pretty little the pretty little soaps that mom had in the bathroom that no one was allowed to use, the guest soaps. We got to make some guest soaps, All right? So, there's that. I actually have even more molds in there, but we'll get those another day. This batch, this will just make this. All right, how's our milk coming along? We still have a block of ice here, we're still dissolving. All right, it's now breaking up nicely. Got to get all that goat milk liquefied and all that lye. I don't want any ice or any lye particulate in here. All of that's got to get dissolved. While that's finishing dissolving, let me grab my mixer. Okay, let's see, sweet almond oil, coconut oil, olive oil, palm oil, lye, goat's milk. That's all the ingredients, kids. That's all the ingredients. So, all right. Now for the big mix. The big mix. Let's move these around. We're going to get this here ready to be mixed into. We're going to burp our mixer so you kind of turn it so you get everything up to the side there. We're going to turn that on here for a little bit. And we're going to turn up uh, oils. Mostly we're dissolving that, uh, that residual uh, coconut oil and making sure the palm oil it's completely dissolved. And now we start adding in our lye. And this just simply goes in. One big pour. There we go. Yeah. 
idea here is just to get everything thoroughly mixed so it all the same uniform color, you don't see any streaks or any in it. Everything's perfectly dissolved. And we're looking for something called trace. Trace is the ability of seeing lines behind the mixer as we're stirring everything up. We don't want to get bubbles in there because we don't want to whip it. We don't want bubbles in the soap. Why don't we speed this up a little bit? This takes a little bit of time. Alrighty then. I think we're I think we're there. immediately make that easier to deal with here once we uh, get done pouring everything put that out of our way let me re-inspect our molds make sure we got everything good and dry I don't want to trap anything that will look good and dry don't want to trap any water in behind them Have a little bit of have a little bit of my seltzer water. Oh, need that. Need that. All right. Now we're going to ladle into. Measuring cup so I can pour into the molds. We can get this all measured out in good fashion here. And the idea is to have a nice uniform bars. So a little bit of moisture in that one. Okay, here we go. Well, while I'm filling up all the bowls, I decided just to go ahead and speed it up again. This is another aspect of making soap, just kind of tedious. The uh, mixing up the stuff together so it saponifies, the measuring of all the uh, different uh, components takes time. Stirring the lye in onto the frozen uh, goat milk takes a lot of time to get that going. So there are some aspects of this that are just, you know, tedious, boring, time consuming. Still very interesting, very satisfying to make soap. I really enjoy the process. good square bars and six raisins. So, all right. Get that off my hand real quick because at this point it hasn't finished the pontifying. So the lye is still caustic. But these will have to sit here now and uh, finish setting up. So they'll sit here on the island for 24 hours. And then, and then we'll move them on to the drying table. So, there you go, kids. So that's how we do it. Well, how about them toad suckers? Ain't they sappy? Sucking them toads all sure make them happy. Hug them, mug a toad suckers way down south. Sticking them sucky toads in their mouth. I be a toad sucker knowing a duck it. You just find an old toad and you rear back and suck it. Folks, you have a good day. Bye.